What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video <clears throat> and this one is just gonna be a random pack opening that I figured I would go live on YouTube for. Maybe do a little bit of a Q&A as well. So before I do get into any of the packs, I will just give it a few minutes and let everyone join. So if you guys are watching this video after the fact, you might wanna skip ahead a little bit. What's going on guys? What's up everybody? Uh, I do collect a little bit of baseball, but you know, mainly basketball, a little bit of football. I appreciate it, GB fan. So we got a little bit of absolute football that I found today, as well as some Pokemon. So a uh, couple, couple of products. Actually, I guess I've been opening a pretty good amount of football on the channel, but Pokemon is uh, something that I don't do a ton of on the channel. So something a little different. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, P stuttered. I am definitely trying, man. That's what I'm. <laughs> that's definitely what I'm wanting. So we'll see. Uh, the goal is a Charizard out of the Pokemon, and then Absolute. Hopefully, I can pull a Kaboom. So we we will see. And as always, guys, if you guys are stumbling upon this video and you have not uh, subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel. Got a huge, huge 10,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. Uh, encased, no, I am I am not doing encased. I, I really wanted to do encased, but I've seen some of that opened on YouTube and it is just absolutely brutal. Probably one of the most brutal products I've ever seen. So I'm just not gonna do it. I've seen a lot of people you know, open and cased and get BGS eights and eight fives and nines. Honestly, nine fives are pretty rare in encased from what I've seen. And considering some of the guys that you could get a eight or eight five, it's just not worth it. You you could you could literally lose hundreds and hundreds of dollars on encased. So I would not recommend it. What's up, Candy? Uh, my day's going good. How about you? Appreciate y'all tuning in. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. I actually got these at Meyer this morning. So uh, there is a Meyer in Louisville that was, uh, I was, I checked last night and unfortunately they didn't stock when I went. I think they stocked afterwards because I heard they were going to get mosaic football and basketball. And okay. All right, screens. I, I'm going to have to, <laughs> I'm going to have to chill out. All right. So yeah, they, I think they stocked after I went last night. And um, so I went this morning, there was no mosaic, but they did have uh, some absolute and some Pokemon. So I grabbed, uh, you know, a, a little bit of each and we're gonna see what we can pull. So I'm gonna do one absolute blaster in this video. We have four of these fat packs and then I have two champions path boxes and one hidden fates. So I think we're gonna start with Let's uh, let's start with one of these champions path, and I got a lot of stuff here, not a lot of room, so <laughs> bear with me. And I'll try to I'll try to get to as many comments and questions as I can. Uh, it's kind of nice, you know. The normally the cards are my priority, but I'm just gonna you know kind of take my time and chill. So, uh, John Polson, I honestly don't know about investing in the next year's class. Um, it's, I'm going to probably wait until like, if they have a summer league, watch that. And then preseason, uh, the main guy I'm going to PC though is Jordan Wara. That's for sure. But as far as investing, it's, it's too early to say, you know, we didn't have March madness, have, haven't had summer league. So, uh, I just don't know. All right, guys, <laughs> struggling here. Let's take it off. There we go. All right. So I'm actually doing this on the iPad for the first time ever. Figured it would be a little bit easier to keep up with the comments. So hopefully everything works out well with that. Quality's all right. 
All right, guys, so four packs in there. Th those, these boxes are 20 bucks. Uh, I think like 22 a box, so let's see what we can get. So we'll do the card trick. I think it's four from the back. This iPad's actually <laughs> kind of kind of hard to see around, honestly. And we do have something. Whenever you get that green and white card, you know it's gonna be something good. So let's see. Can we start out first pack Charizard? Lucario, okay, I'll take that. He's actually one of my favorite Pokemon. So I, I will definitely take that. Nothing wrong with Lucario. Are we still good? Okay, and the comments all disappeared, so I was making sure we weren't frozen there for a second. Beedrill, Rotom Phone, Milo, Zigzagoon, Kakuna, Roly Coley, Trubbish, Potion, Absol, and a Hollow Machamp. It's actually a really cool looking card. So not not exactly what you're looking for, but really cool. What's up, Gary? Uh, Joel, I am not the person to ask on that. <laughs> I definitely do not know about real versus fake Pokemon. So maybe every, I said earlier, the green and white code cards are how you know you got something good. Maybe you're guaranteed that. I know you were in the um, the Elite Trainer box. <laughs> uh, yeah, Candy, uh, wasn't a fan of getting that Nick Richards auto, but it's all good. I know, you know, UK has so many players every year, you're always going to get some. So, Sizzlepede. Purloin, Scraggy, Pokeball, Carvana, and it's just going to be a Hollow Zygarde. Last pack, and then we'll switch over to some Absolute. So I guess you are guaranteed a green, green and white code card in every pack. So that's good. You're at least going to get a hollow. So energy, uh, Kabu, Lipard, Pierce, Scraggy, Pokeball, uh, Nicket, Hatana, Swablu, Hatrim, and a hollow Altaria. So not the best box, but I'll take the Lucario. He's a really, really cool Pokemon, so one of my favorites. I'll take that. So let's get those out of the way. And we will do a couple of these absolute value packs. That's pretty solid, Justin. Justin Herbert Green and a Nick Chubb auto. That's really solid. The autos out of the cellos are really, really rare. Got a kid reporter. So I had I'd opened up a couple of these off camera. I think it's just gonna be like vet base up front. And then you got a couple greens. So a green Khalil Mack, green Keenan Allen, and then Zach Moss is gonna be our green rookie. Antonio Gibson, Mark Andrews, uh, Grant Delpit. That's a new one. Oh, there we go. Tua. That's probably the, the best one I've pulled so far. So we'll set that off to the side. Do a, do a little recap at the end of all the best cards. Uh, Javon Kinlaw. Uh, LaMichael Le Perrine. Desmond Patman. T. Higgins. James... Crochet and Anthony McFarlane. So you get a lot of rookies out of those uh, value packs. So that's pretty nice. 
Uh, I watched most of the Titans game. What ended up happening? Who won that game? I know the Steelers were killing them early on. A uh, Luca Hoops rookie base. Uh, if that got a ten, that would probably that would probably get upcharged. Cause forty, what's forty five day like? Ten or fifteen bucks. Steelers one by three. They were killing them early on. All right, guys, let's let's get that kaboom. We actually, eh, I thought we had a thick one. I don't think so. There's my guy, <laughs> Lamar sighting. Devonte Parker, another Louisville guy. Josh Allen and Green, Le'Veon Bell. Green Ryan Tannehill, and our green rookie is a Derek Brown. <laughs> Pepper, that could not be further from the truth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Lamar, another one. Terrell Davis, Willie Gay, Jeff Akuda, C.J. Henderson, Kenneth Murray. A Darrington Evans, a uh, Jawan Jennings, Antonio Gibson. Ooh, there we go. Nice little Justin Herbert. So we're getting a, a couple top quarterbacks here. Not bad. All right, so we have two more absolute fat packs. And then we're going to go back to Champion's Path. We're going to save Hidden Fates for the, the last. So we're, we got one more Champion's Path. Hopefully this one will be better than our first one. These guys are kind of tough to get into. <laughs> I've been a huge U of L fan my entire life, so yeah. Definitely not a UK fan in the in the slightest. <laughs> after after UK beat U of L in the final four in 2012, uh, which I was at in New Orleans, I stayed for the championship game. Uh, who did they? Who did UK play? Was it? I think it was Kansas in the finals. And I rooted for Kansas in the finals. That's how much I dislike UK. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. Let me, let me show you something. Two thousand thirteen national champions. 100%. That's how I feel about that. All right, next pack of Champions Path. <laughs> All right, Energy Malamar, uh, Turfield, Lipard, Swablu, Sizzlepede, Weedle, Zigzagoon, Rockruff, Truffield again, or Turfield again, and. Just gonna be a um, Hatterene Hollow. All right, where's our Charizard? I wish I would have picked up more of those Elite Trainer boxes because I actually sent two to PSA. They both got tens, and those are doing about five hundred dollars a piece right now, which is crazy. So, <laughs> really wish I would have picked up more of those. Hop. Beedrill, Potion, Rockruff, Weedle, Swablu, Kakuna, Energy, and a Scorch Hollow. Come on, where's our full arts? Maybe, maybe you only get one, one per box or something. All right. Energy, Rotom Bike, Hyper Potion, Lipard, Vulpix, 
Inkay, Pokeball, Sizzlipede, Zigzagoon, Carvana. And we got something. Oh, it's a trainer, but it's a rainbow rare, which is super, super rare. So Kabu rainbow rare. That's actually a pretty good one. No idea on the value of that, but super rare card. Kabu Rainbow Rare. Not bad, not bad. Definitely better than the first box. And we still have one more pack. Uh, yeah, I think Justin Herbert, he's solid. He's played well so far. One, two, three, four. See if we can get another one. Or if it's just one per box. Victini, Hyper Potion, Rotom Phone, Hatena, Inke, Weedle, uh, Lanoon, Carvana, Obstagoon, and another Altaria. That's one thing I don't really like about um, Champion's Path is there are so many repeats. What's up, Pax fan? Joe Burrow, Rookie Green, that's solid. I have a Joe Burrow green mosaic that will be I will be sending to PSA soon as well. Yeah, that's that's true. There's not a lot of big hits in Champions Path. You're you're really just looking for those Charizards. I appreciate that, Lulu. Uh, best cheap option for boxes is for sure if you can find stuff like this at Walmart and Target. Uh, as far as hobby goes. Maybe like contenders draft picks or prism draft picks, but uh, you definitely retail is your best bet. All right, guys, let's get into these next value packs and pull that Lamar Kaboom. It's kind of weird, the Kabooms. Um, I guess they're mainly in retail because when after Hobby came out, I was looking for the Lamar Kaboom on eBay and there was literally, I, like I couldn't find any. And then once retail came out, there's tons. So I guess, I don't know if some players are like only in retail or if they're just, the Kabooms in general are mostly in retail. Another Lamar. Devante. Josh Allen. It's like the same same exact pack I just opened. Uh, green, Terry McLaurin. Green, Deshaun Jackson. Ooh, there's a good one. Jordan Love. Is that going to be a green? Nice. Jordan Love green? Yeah, we are closing in on 10K. We just hit 9,600 today, so less than 400 to go. So definitely appreciate that. Plaxico Burris. Man, Plaxico, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Didn't he? Didn't he shoot himself in the leg in the in a club? I'm pretty sure he went to a club and shot himself in the leg. Saquon, Jake Fromm, another good quarterback there. <laughs> I thought that was him. Uh, ben DiNucci, Justin Jefferson, Darrell Taylor, Neville Gallimore, Isaiah Simmons, and Willie Gay. They put some some rookies in here who I have never, definitely never heard of. Uh, Prism football is actually pretty soon. I think it's like middle of November. All right, last value pack, and let's see what we have. Trubisky, Howard, Todd Gurley, Adrian Peterson, Miles Sanders, Hopkins. Our first green is a David Johnson, Darren uh, Waller. Ooh, all right. All right, 
<laughs> little green burrow. Uh, I do not know the odds of pulling a kaboom. I know on let me I'll show you the blaster here in a second. Um, it says look for the ultra rare kaboom insert if that tells you anything. I don't know if they're like blaster case hits or or what. I have no idea, but nice little green burrow there. I'll take that for sure. And then we have oh a nice Henry Ruggs. Stefan Gilmore, a this guy, <laughs> another Jordan Love, Cole McDonald, Chenault, Zach Moss, another Burrow. Wow, two Burrows, one pack. Nice. That was a solid pack for these are like six bucks and a, and a uh, Chase Claypool. These packs are like six bucks. I just pulled. A green burrow and a base burrow. And uh, Jordan Love. That was a crazy good pack. Uh, Logan, I am from Louisville, Kentucky. Let's sleeve up that other burrow here. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we want? Hidden Fates or the Blaster? That's all I have left. Contenders draft picks basketball is already out. I think it was last week or something. So blaster and we'll save hidden fates for last. <clears throat> no, Panini Panini never gives you the odds. That's that's only tops. Panini shows you like what you can pull. I think is that it? I'm not sure where it is. They can they show you like what you can pull out of all the boxes, but they don't show you the odds. All right, so we'll go blaster and then uh, hidden fates for last. So we can pull that uh, shiny Charizard. Shout out to Louisville Sports Cards. Uh, I don't think there's a release date yet for Optic. That won't be for a long, long time. With the NBA season getting pushed back, uh, it's I don't know what they're gonna do with releases. Because I was thinking about that if they if they release like hoops and Donruss and stuff where they're supposed to be in their NBA uniforms, I don't I don't know what they're gonna do. I guess it's just gonna be like photo shoot pictures. Uh, I go to through the decades some, but mainly Louisville sports cards. Shout out to shout out to Chase at uh, through the decades. I do I do like Chase, super nice guy. <laughs> uh, Mike, if you think that, look on eBay at some some sold prices. If you think that, all right, here we go. Russell Wilson, T. Y. Hilton, Dwayne Haskins, Philip Lindsay. And uh, Ross Blacklock, James Morgan, Anthony Gordon, and Jordan Brooks. So nothing out of that pack. This one feels thicker. I think you do get a mem card out of here. Uh, Scott, no, I do not rip hockey. I, do, I know nothing about hockey other than I did go to a Blackhawks game in Chicago a few years ago, and that was the most fun sporting event I've ever been to. But as far as like players and stuff, I have no idea. Uh, Louisville Sports Cards is in Middletown. If you're if you're familiar with the, the Louisville area, they are in Middletown. Yeah, that the Blackhawks game was insane. So much fun. All right. Dak. Dalvin. McCaffrey. Uh, Culpepper. Chase Young, Christian Fulton, Devin Asaisi, and Raekwon Davis. So, 0 for 2 on these packs. Uh, what's up, Macho? Shout out to Macho. Uh, Prism Basketball will definitely not be in December of 2020. 
Uh, it will not. I don't think it will be releasing until uh, 2021. I think that's what they said at the. Um, what was it? They just had like the industry summit or whatever. Products are are definitely being delayed more than usual. Uh, Julie, I don't really know anything about Wiseman. Um, you know, like I said, we didn't have the NCAA tournament. We haven't had summer league. So a lot of these rookies, I really just don't know what to expect. I haven't seen enough. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, John. I think it's going to be quite a while on like prism and optic. So David Johnson, Darren, uh, Waller, Green, Stefan Diggs. Jalen Rager, that guy, Jordan Love again. We'll put that over there in the recap stack. And a Colt McDonald, which I just messed up my stack. There we go. All right, so four more, four more packs. Then we do have our mem card. <laughs> oh, Miles. That's a good one. Uh, no, that's macho. I, that's actually what I was, I went to this Meyer looking for mosaic football or basketball, but, uh, when I went, someone had found it all already. So I just got absolute and some champions path and, uh, hidden fates. So it's all good though. I was, uh, you know, happy I was able to find anything. So Tom Brady, Chenault, Zach Moss. Ooh, another Burrow. So Third Burrow, solid. Next pack, Adrian Peterson, AP, uh, Austin Eckler, Adam Thielen, Green, AJ uh, Epinesa, not sure on that one, Chase Claypool, Derek Brown, Quintez Cephas and Jalen Hurts. Uh, put that over there. What's up, Purple? Uh, Ryan, yes, I'm opening a, let's see here. I'm opening this box of Hidden Fates next after this. I did, I actually picked up the Charizard one as well, uh, but I'm going to keep that sealed. I think that could be end up being like a pretty cool collector's item. So I did, they did have one Charizard box. I picked it up. I'm going to keep it sealed. What's up, Garrett? What's up, Seth? All right. Miles Sanders, Hopkins, Le'Veon Bell, introductions of Jordan Love, AJ Dillon, Jonathan Taylor, Cole Komet, and a Jacob Eason. Are you serious? Five... Five boxes of what of Hidden Fates? Of, of these? You pulled three shiny Charizards? Holy cow, that's insane. If that's if that's true, that's crazy. All right, I don't think we're gonna hit a kaboom. Unfortunately, I'll probably end up picking up the Lamar on eBay. Ryan Tannehill, Von Miller, Green Kyler. There we go. Nice Green Kyler is uh, Cruz in here. I know Cruz loves Kyler. Uh, yeah, I'd be happy with three shiny Charizards too. Jerry Judy, CD Lamb, and a KJ Hamler. All right, so actually I'll take that back. We could could have a Kaboom in here with our Mem card. Probably not. Never know. So uh, Raheem Mostert, Carson Wentz, and it's going to be a Jalen Rager. Mem card. What's up, Tristan? Uh, 
And Derrick Henry. Colin Johnson, Lynn Bowden, uh, Eno Benjamin, and Joe Reed. No kaboom, unfortunately. All right, guys, we have one more box. Hopefully, a shiny Charizard is in here. Appreciate everyone uh, hopping on here tonight. I figured uh, if I if I was gonna make a video, this would absolute football and Pokemon would have been a really super random video. So I figured I'd just go live, maybe answer a few questions or anything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Set that off to the side. There's our Gyarados. I used to love Gyarados when I was a kid playing Pokemon. I thought he was just like a, one of the coolest looking ones. Uh, I don't know what that goes for anymore. I know they were around like seven or eight hundred as PSA tens, which these are all those are all PSA tens. But I don't. LeBron stuff has actually kind of dipped since they won the title, so I don't know. Um, I don't really know what that goes for now. Um, the the Pokemon that you want is is always just Charizard, really. But as far as products, Hidden Fates and Champions Path are probably the two that you want to look for now. So I appreciate that, Harple. All right, so I think this is the same as Champion's Path. Four from the back. Energy, Farfetch'd, Brock's Grit, Misty's Gym, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Voltorb, and a uh, Hollow Misty's Water Command. Uh, Steelers, I appreciate that, man. I do appreciate it. It is. Uh, it can definitely be a lot of work, but I do. I really enjoy it. So I'm glad you all enjoyed as well. All right, fire. Is that a sign right there? I know it's it's crazy what Pokemon goes for now. I, you know, <laughs> I. I can't remember all of the stuff that I had back in the day, but I I know I definitely had a Charizard Hollow, and honestly I don't I have no idea what happened to you know some of that stuff, but it's just crazy what that stuff goes for now. Uh, Fuego, yes, I am in my basement right now, so this is like my card room down here. I was actually kind of worried about the the Wi-Fi reaching down here because I have had some issues in the past, but I think it's you know going pretty well. So usually when I do in taste for local sports cards, I will go upstairs closer to the uh, router. Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Hollow, uh, Poiple, and a Lapras. So I must have messed that up. That was supposed to be that was supposed to be the last card, I think. Shiny. I think that's a shiny Poiple. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Energy, Kogus Trap, Brock's Grit, Misty's Determination, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Voltorb, and a um, Electrode. Is that so? Not a Hollow. And last chance here. Last chance at the Charizard. Another fire. Come on. 
which actually I, I should have mentioned this earlier the the Charizard that is in Hidden Fates, the shiny Charizard. Uh, you guys, some of you guys might remember this if you've if you've uh, watched the channel for a while. I actually picked up a raw one on eBay a long time ago for right around like two hundred dollars. Sent it to BGS and it got a black label. And I ended up selling it for right around like fifteen hundred dollars. And I don't know what they're doing now, but those got up to like seven or eight thousand dollars. Fun fact. I did have the Charizard out of Hidden Fates, and it did get a black label. <laughs> Brock's Grit, Misty's Determination, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Golem, and another Electrode. Uh, all right, well, that was a dud. <clears throat> uh, they're just in better, you know, they're just in better shape. I don't really know... Well, first of all, I mean, the corners are, are rounded, so you're not going to have as much corner damage. Uh, and then I guess they're just they're just printed better. That's the only thing. So, but, yeah, they, they are definitely much easier to grade than sports cards. Um, but that is all the packs I had, guys. We will do a quick recap. And real quick, I uh, just kind of looked over here at my Contenders Optic box from the other day, uh, and the Nick Richards reminded me that uh, the the next giveaway will actually should be on Tuesday. I have some Contenders Optic T-Mall boxes coming in, uh, so I plan on either opening those or doing a PSA reveal on Tuesday. So the next giveaway will be for this Nick Richards uh, should be on Tuesday. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to comment on my last video, and that should that will be coming in, in the next couple of days. So that just reminded me of that. And now we'll do a quick recap from tonight's pools. We did have a few nice ones. So the uh, shiny Poiple, our Gyarados promo, Jalen Hurts, first Joe Burrow, Jordan Love, second Joe Burrow, second Jordan Love. Chase Claypool, probably the best hit of the night is the green Joe Burrow. Jake Fromm, oh, green Jordan Love, forgot about that one. Hollow Altaria, and another really nice one I forgot about was the Rainbow Rare Kabu, nice one there. Hollow Scorch. Hollow uh, Hatterene, Justin Herbert. So we hit all the top... We basically hit all of the top rookie quarterbacks and a Tua. So not bad at all. Another Altaria, Zygarde, Machamp, and the Lucario V. So not too bad at all. I will take that. Definitely take these two right here. So again, I know this was kind of random. Uh, figured rather than doing a, a, you know, a video, I would just go live and talk to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So I will stick around for a couple more minutes. If you guys have any last minute questions or anything, let me know. Uh, Wendy, I am doing good. How about you? Uh, Brad, I that's tough to say. Honestly, I'm probably gonna check out the, the Green Burrow and if that's in good shape, I'll send it maybe at like 20 day or something. Typically, typically uh, Absolute is not gonna carry the same value but maybe like, you know, Burrow or Herbert, you might want to send. So, especially the, the greens or like a numbered parallel. Uh, the Pokemon boxes were $21.99, I believe. $20.99, something like that. So not, not too bad at all. Uh, Rick's Rips on the PSA spreadsheet. Yes, I have. Yeah, Brad, I, I wouldn't, you know, I would, probably wouldn't do it at like five day, but 20 day, yeah. Uh, k and &A, all good, man. I'm, I'm actually about to hop off here. We are done ripping packs, so I was just hanging out for a couple more questions. What's up, Candy?
All right, guys. Well, it looks like we are winding down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. Yeah, Candy, just a quick question. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I, <laughs> I was thinking about going to the show in Dallas, Texas. I uh, know that's gonna be a huge, huge show. That's actually the same day as the, the show here in Louisville, Kentucky, which is November 14th. But I think I'm actually gonna skip that. Uh, I, I'm gonna hold off on the Dallas show, and I think I am gonna be at the one here in Louisville, Kentucky. So. Uh, don't know if I'm going to set up or not yet, but I will, you know, a hundred percent be either, you know, going and doing like a video and pick up and stuff like that, or I might set up as well. We'll see, but I'll definitely be there. Uh, code cards. This is from a company called inked gaming. So I N K E D gaming. And with that, I'm going to hop off here. So I definitely appreciate everyone who joined and watched me rip some packs and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I know I, I did. So again, I will be back with videos probably on Tuesday, either contender, <clears throat> excuse me, Contenders Optic T-Mall or a PSA reveal, which I'm, ex I'm definitely excited about the PSA reveal. Got some really cool cards. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one and I'll see you soon.